So in the series of learning Python programming language, we are discussing control statements in Python. Till now we have discussed simple if statement, if else, uh, nested if, nested if else and elif statement, else if ladder, right? With two or three exercise, coding exercise. In the previous video we have seen a uh, leap year exercise, how to find out that a given year is leap year or not, right? Now, in this video we will be discussing about <coughs> multiple if statements, more than one if. Right? See, uh, one of the previous video when we were discussing uh, that uh, nested if and uh, nested if else and elif statements, in that video we have taken one uh, program, one exercise, one example. Like if your height is uh, greater than or equal to 3 feet, then you can ride the roller coaster. But now they will ask what is your age? Now if your age is uh, less than 12, then you need to pay only 150 rupees. If you are between 12 to 18, then you need to pay 250 rupees. And if you are greater than 18, then you need to pay 500 rupees. That we have discussed, right? Now, see, simply, I am not writing the complete thing. So, one way is what you can, all the three conditions you can write down in if, 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 like this. That is also fine. It will work. If suppose I enter height is 6 feet, and what is your age? If I enter age is 18, uh, sorry 19, right? So first of all, it will check this condition is not true. Then it will check this if age greater than, uh, sorry, uh, uh, less than 18, then this is also not true because age is 19. So greater than equal to 18, yes 19. So it you need to pay 500 rupees. But here one problem is what if you enter age 12, sorry 9 suppose. So in this case, this condition is true. So you need to pay 150 rupees, but still the control will go to this condition. This condition would be checked. Condition true? No. So all the three condition would be checked in this case, but this is not an efficient way to write a program because we want only one condition to check. We want only one to execute either this, this or this. So better we write using this elif. Like if a is this, then else if or elif this, else this. So if you enter age 9 here, then this statement, this is true, this statement would be executed and then this condition would not be checked, this condition would not be checked, completely skipped and after that, that whatever you will write that would be printed. So this is I guess more convenient method and less time consuming, right? But sometimes if first condition is true, still we want to check one more condition. Sometimes these type of cases can also be there, right? In that case, we use multiple if. I want to check this condition also. I want to check next condition also and maybe next to next condition also. If this is the case, this kind of program is there. I will show you this with the help of one example also. Then we use their multiple if. Right? So this is type of multiple if. General syntax if we write, then how we will write like this. So this is general syntax of writing multiple if statement, if condition 1, then do this, do x, if condition 2, do this, if condition 3, do this. In this case, if condition 1 is true, condition 2 is also true, condition 3 is also true, then all the three statement would be executed, x, y, z, all the three statements, right? But if we, we write this thing, something like this, if condition 1, do, a, do this, do x, else if, else if, condition 2, do y, else, condition 3, or simply if you we will not write condition 3, then that is also fine here else this. In this case, only one would be checked. If condition one is true, x would be executed only. We will not check y would not be executed, z would not be executed because we will not check this condition. If condition true is true, then only y would be executed. Means in this case, only one, either x, y or z would be executed. But in this case, if both, if all the three conditions are true, all the three statement would be executed, right? This is kind of difference between elif, if elif, else and multiple if. Now, okay, let's take one example. So the same previous case example here, height, then age, according to age, you will divide the ticket. But one more thing, I want to add one more thing here. If you want to take photos, then you need to pay 50 rupees extra. During the ride, if you want to take photos, then you need to pay 50 rupees extra. Now, no matter you are taking 150 rupees ticket or 250 rupees ticket or 500 rupees ticket. 
If you want to take photos, yes, then you need to pay 50 rupees. If no, it's okay. Your total will, bill would be according to this thing. Right? So, if suppose age is 9, so you will enter age, they will ask what is your age? 9 years. They will ask still, you want to take photo? Yes, then add 50 rupees to this. If your age is, you are suppose 15 years old, so means you will fall in this category. What is your age? 15 year. You want to take photo? Still they will ask you, you want to take photo? Yes, add 50 rupees. And if you are 30 years old, they will ask, you want to take photo? Yes, add 50 rupees. So, how you will write, how you will write down this logic here? So, one way is, maybe within this if, if A is less than 12, then obviously we will not say pay 150 rupees. Again, we will ask. So, here we can, maybe you, you will say, you, you can ask one more if, you, if, want to take photo, you can ask, want to take photo? If yes, then add 50 rupees plus 150 rupees, 200 rupees you need to pay. Else if A is less than 18, here also you can ask, input what is, so you do you want to take photos? Yes, if yes, then add, if yes, then add. So rather than writing this, this thing three times, obviously we will write down that thing only one time, but where you will write down that thing? When you will take input from user, do you want to take photo? Yes or no? User will enter yes or no? Then you will check some condition if, Yes, then add 50 rupees and all. Where? So think this logic and then till then let me just uh, draw the flow chart. Then I think you will get it better. After that we will write program. I will show you practical also. So first we will check height greater than or equal to 3 feet. Two cases yes or no. No, then simply you cannot write. If yes, then yes you can write but now we will ask age. So one condition on age we need to put right now three cases can be there your age is under 12 or above 18 or maybe you are 12 to 18 three cases right so if under 12 then you need to pay only 150 rupees right here the ticket for 12 to 18 is what 250 rupees obviously you need not need to pay still we will ask one more question do you want photos or not so here we are just showing the ticket price so for this ticket price is 500 rupees this is the case this uh, the, the the previous video we have discussed till here only right that this is the example we have taken but now we have added one more condition do you want to take photo so we will ask this from all the three categories you will ask, right? So, we will ask, uh, want photos or not? From this category, from this category, as well as from this category. Want photos? Two cases. Yes or no? If yes, then charge, extra charge is 50 rupees. Then you, we will add 50 rupees and then we will give total bill, right? If no, then directly we will, means they will give you total bill, something like this. So, this is the case. This is the extra thing we have added. So, where you will put this? This condition, this if condition in your program, you have to write down this thing. So, I guess you have done the previous program. So, now you can, I think if you, you know, give some time and you read this flowchart, you understand this flowchart clearly, then you can, e you can easily modify that program. Now let's write down this program. So this was our exercise we have done in that video when we were discussing nested if and elif statement, right? The roller coaster ride exercise. So here one more thing I need to add. So let's just copy paste this in a new file. The name is multiple underscore if dot py and let's just paste this, right? Now, I can write, okay, please pay 150 rupees. Okay, we will not say that please pay 150 rupees here because we need to pay extra 50 rupees if you want to take photos. So, here simply 
we can say the ticket price. We can just tell that ticket price is this for you, for your category. But we want to take input from user. Do you want to take photos, right? So where you will write down that line? Obviously for the, all the three categories, you will ask this question, right? So rather than within, within this A4, within this LA4, something like this, we will write with the same indentation. With this indentation, we will write here only, right? Like first of all, we will ask, let's just take a variable want underscore photo equal to will take input from user obviously using input function see do you want to take photo press yes or no so we will check if if this variable want underscore photo the name of this variable is want underscore photo equal to equal to maybe capital y or small y right is small y or we have discussed logical operators also or want underscore photo equal to equal to capital Y maybe small y or capital Y both are yes if this is the case then we will do what whatever ticket price is there in that we will add one uh, we will add 50 rupees extra right so for that obviously we need to you know store this ticket price in some variable then also we can add 50 rupees to that variable right but we haven't taken any variable till now so let's suppose we will take one variable bill right and here i'm taking bill equal to zero at starting bill equal to zero and here bill equal to if a is less than 12 bill equal to 150 rupees till now right and in this category bill equal to 250 rupees but it's not final bill it's not total bill right bill equal to 500 rupees right now if one photo is yes or yes then we will add whatever bill it is 150 250 or 500 we will add in that bill bill is equal to bill plus 50 rupees if this is the case right and after that obviously no need to write down else part if yes then add 50 rupees otherwise just give yes you need to pay either 150 rupees or 250 or uh, 500 sorry you need to change here I have just copy paste this thing so I haven't changed here 500 150 250 and 500 ticket price so without any indentation here simply print your total bill is and from bill variable fetch the amount so this is we are using f string so prefix this with f right so i hope see indentation is very important you need to write down this thing this condition the same indentation with this if right with this if fine here not with this if because see if i enter age is now suppose 9 so this condition is true height is suppose 6 so this condition true you can write what is your age 9 9 less than 12 yes true now bill equal to 150 so it will print ticket price is 150 for you right now if this is the condition this condition is true this condition would not be checked this would not be checked totally we will skip this and directly control will go here out of this if elif else block what is written here with the same indentation this thing is written so now we will ask want photo yes or no condition would be checked if yes now bill is 150 150 plus 50 200 so after this if we we, we are not having any other condition in, within this if block so out of this if this condition is there sorry this statement is there so it will print your total bill is 200 rupees that's it so indentation is very 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 important this print you cannot you know put this indentation with this print because now this print is also within this if but we want we don't want that this would be within this if this is outside of this if 
right so no indentation is required here let me just run this i'll show you here put colon what output you will get let's run this and uh, what is your height suppose 6 feet you can write what is your age suppose age is 15 so your ticket price is ticket price is 250 rupees for you but another question is now do you want to take photos i i am pressing small y yes so now your total bill is 300 rupees and buy so rather than buy you can just uh, in in this you can just write down thank you enjoy the ride right this you can also write down so now if you are not getting this thing please have a look on flowchart please watch this video again then dry run this program at your own with different different input different different age different different height and then definitely you will get it it's not that tough so in the next video we will see one coding exercise now so i'll see the next video tell them bye bye take care